Okay, so new for the 2013 grill, we've got these beautifully sculpted headlamps which feature bi-xenon bulbs and they give you more, you know, better visibility and more sight at night time, pretty much simulating a daylight light. Then you've got these really nice daytime running LED lamps which are pretty much featured on all the new Mercedes models and they give it a, an amazing sporty look. I mean, you see this thing rolling down the road, immediate eye catcher, I know that's for me. But, um, then you have this beautiful three-tier grill. I call it three-tier because the S-Class has a five-tier with these lines going across. This has a three-tier. Um, you've got the classic emblem in the middle, the emblem on the top, and you also have a towing hook here, as well as sort of this mesh-like grill on the bottom to finish it off. This vehicle features a 3.5 liter V6, 248 horsepower at 6,500 RPM, and 251 pound-feet of torque, shooting this vehicle from 0 to 60 in 6 seconds. Coming onto the wheels, we have these beautiful 18-inch AMG-inspired 5-spoke wheels with Mercedes-Benz brake calipers in black. They look absolutely awesome. And on the side here, we have this really nice aluminum trim line, starting from the wheel well, going all the way to the back. Coming on to the roof, we have this nice moon roof here for you. And we also have these neat little pop-up, I don't even know what to call them, um, but you, these are supposed to be for if you have you know a roof rack or something this car is uh, able to support a roof rack whether it's for skis or for a thule or something like that something small obviously but this car is able to support things to put on the roof coming out to the rear we have LED tail lamps We've got the C300 badge So well as this nice aluminum going right above the license plate and the classic Mercedes logo. The formatic badge. Coming down to a nice dual exhaust with chrome tips. And a towing hitch located right there. So, you've got a whole bunch of space back here, and uh, underneath you've got a spare tire. On this side here, you even have a nice little first aid kit corner, which they give you standard. Nice little pocket inside there. Locks straight up nicely. Let's take a quick look at this exhaust clip. To the driver's seat we have a beautiful array of aluminum, wood, and black leather. Some nice trim on the wall here, as well as soft touch leather on the door. We have our two lock buttons, aluminum door handles. We have our memory seats here, as well as our seat functions, which I'll show you a quick demo. Pretty cool. Also over here we have our mirror controls, our window controls, child lock for the windows, nice little handle here. We have a pocket as well as our trunk release. This car does feature a Logic 7 Harman Kardon surround sound system and I'll give you a quick little demo of that coming up but this is just a little view of the driver's seat from outside perspective. 
down here we have lumbar support automatic lumbar support for the driver's seat and over here we have our parking brake release parking brake obviously our pedals nicely fitted with rubber studs and chrome gives it a nice touch we have our headlight controls automatic we have you know our LEDs controls as well as our rear fog light our accelerometer as well as tachometer are really nicely displayed the center screen right here is a high resolution screen gives you some information about your trip your navigation as well as your telephone nice leather wrapped steering wheel it's very you know <laughs> it's very sporty I mean just looking at it I mean you have to feel it in order to get the full effect but just looking at it, it's a really beautiful steering wheel for a C-Class. This goes to show you how much innovation they took when putting this car together for 2013. So once you're in the driver's seat, you've got the power. I mean, this great steering wheel, you know, you have all of your controls here for your nice HD screen up there. And, uh... You know, you've got your calling over here, your voiceover, stuff like that. Um, looking at the main screen here, which I will activate for you in a second, it's a 7-inch screen. It's not that big. I mean, I feel like they could have extended it a little bit more out. Um, but as you may notice, these are two speakers on both sides. So that's part of the Logic 7 surround sound. Coming down here, we have nice trim as well as a little cigarette holder and cigarette lighter. Close that right up. We have our climate control right down here, controlled by dials. And we have our shifter, shift knob with a nice Mercedes logo on top. That's actually a really nice touch. Over here, we have almost like an iDrive or whatever you want to call it, um, except this is not to shift your your gear this is for your infotainment system up there you know playing around with your radio or your contacts or whatever the heck you're playing with your back and clear buttons we've got du dual cup holders right there and this center console which looks a little bit funky because this part comes all the way out and this part's a little bit shorter but that's just the way they do it in the new models mostly all their new models have this type of center console instead of having the one big one that you just flap right up but the way you open it is this button right here and right now we've got some papers in there but if you can see it's getting a little dark out there is a USB as well as a um, Apple iPod charger in here it's not that big of a space but you can put some tissues in there and stuff like that and it just pops open and close closes very easily it's also ambidextrous which also means you can pop it open from the other side so let's turn it on and you have your on button up front. Here are your, whoops, it's a little loud. Um, you have your seat controls here for heated and cooled seats, which this car does not have. The cool would be right there. Um, here's your hazards. And there's your screen, which I can control right from here. And there's just a little look of it. So Navi. I'm not going to go through all these because I'm not too familiar with the new navigation system with Embrace 2 and stuff like that. But this is the navigation. Um, to go back, you pretty much either can press the back button on there or you could just use these shortcut tools such as radio, you know, audio, navi, telephone, stuff like that. So, they make it really easy. And here's your bass controls, your treble. Here's your, you know, you can move up and down where you want the music to play out of. 
as well as your Logic 7 controls, and we're going to keep that on because it sounds absolutely amazing, and I'll give you a quick demo right now. So, yeah, there it is for the Logic 7 surround sound. Also in here you have a eco button, which is an automatic start and stop feature when you come to stop lights or, you know, a corner. The engine will automatically shut off to conserve battery. Alright, so here's your key fob. Very simple. It's, they give you the same key for every single one of their cars. You've got your trunk control, your lock, unlock, and your panic button. Let's go ahead and put this in the ignition. Start her up. So, yeah, there's your controls up there. Looks really nice. You also do have illumination in both the footwells, and if you can notice that, it's still a little bit bright out, um, but they're also in the, the door handles, as well as in the back, and the footwells down below in the back seats. These do illuminate too, and you can see now the illumination in the door handles. Here's a look at those rear tail lamps with the LEDs. Looks really nice. We also have these nice white LEDs up here to illuminate your license plate. I know this one doesn't look too attractive, but, you know, having those white lights does always give it a nice touch. So in the back, same thing pretty much, nice wood trim. It's getting a little bit dark out, I'm sorry if you really can't see, but there is a good amount of room back here. You've got these nice plush seats, same as the front, all other wrapped. Foot room is not bad for a compact size vehicle like this. I can stretch them out quite a bit, and this seat is all the way back, just to let you know. So I still have quite a lot of room if the seat goes forward more. You also have cup holders, which is pretty cool. and folding this right back down you have now an armrest with your two cup holders easily put this right back and you're done nice and easy thank you very much for watching this has been Brandon with a review of the 2013 C300 from Mercedes-Benz